I can't let the Eagle Tribe destroy this island. You ran from your father's death for years. <sighs> there is nowhere left to run. The nightmare will grow worse. You cannot face your father's death alone. Without my wisdom, you will lose your soul to madness. Ah, the visions. They're still happening. How many has she poisoned? Ignore him. He's... My brother is the smartest person I've ever known. Now look at him. What did the Mongols do to him? You're safe now. Find shelter. We're safe now. No one can hurt us. Enough of your whimpering. You want to defend yourself, then train. Best defense is to not get anywhere near. Have you come to take me too? You have nothing to fear from me. Who was taken? My daughter and son. Stolen away by the caretakers of Cloud Forest Temple. How could that be? Have you met with the temple's head monk? I tried, but he has lost his mind. Zhenqing used to be a man of great wisdom. Now he preaches service to the Eagle Tribe. A monk allied with the Mongols? He has a group of followers at his temple. They've begun recruiting people by force, making them believe his ravings about the Eagle. Some people will believe anything if it gives them hope. Are you sure your children didn't choose to follow him? Tokichi left on his own, but my son's a fool. Ito is sharp, like me. I know they took her by force. If you're going to the temple, please bring them home. I will free them, along with anyone else caught up by this monk's vision. Thank you. Tread carefully. Please send Ito back home, and her brother. Burning arrows, dozens of them, raining down on anybody who gets close. Makes sense.
leave it to old Makidi. If you can handle yourself in a fight, come here. Are you challenging me? That depends. Are you for or against these Mongols? Against? Then that's all I need to know. We set up archery targets around Iki to train for another samurai invasion. Instead we got Mongols. If you're looking for practice, shoot an arrow through each lantern as fast as you can. I've shot warriors while riding on horseback. I think I can hit a few lanterns. Hitting them is one thing. Speed is another. When you're ready, grab an arrow. Done. Never seen anyone shoot that fast. to guide you. Your path leads to madness and death. I'm losing my mind. 
this battlefield. I tried to forget this place. Are you well, my lord? This doesn't feel like victory.
Let me take you to your father. Is this how it's supposed to feel, Lord Adachi? Victories don't have to feel good. How many fell to your blade? I hardly recall. None of them. Dozens, from what I understand. Leave some glory for the rest of us, my lord. This wasn't about glory, it was a message for all of Iki. Armor of these raiders at your peril. These weren't warriors. They were untrained villagers with rust. Enough! I require a private word with my son. Lord Adachi, feed the men and get them drunk. Come here. Father, what happened today? These villagers were helping hide the raiders. We butchered them. All the men in the village. The samurai ran hot, yes. But these fools attacked us. Killed. The man you killed was a criminal. You did well today. Better than I expected. Father. We fulfilled our orders from our Jito. Raise your head high. Today, you were a warrior. If you were here today, Father, do you condone my actions so freely? Face me first!
You keep checking the sky. Now, hoping another massive rain washes these bastards away. It would take us too. No, we know where it floods here. They don't. You think Fune would have taken your what? son? What? It's her I. Life what forever. you did? Well, everyone but her. What do you mean? When her daughter made a mess. Fune cleaned it up, but if it was one of us, she'd have taken our heads. The fight took it out, out of me. I've had enough of your whimpering. You will go my eye on you, stranger. If you find yourself near Zasho Bay, I hear you can take shelter among the ship wreckage that's washed ashore. I'll keep that in mind. Are others gathering there? A few. They're hiding out from the Mongols and trading stories about the Sakai invasion. The Sakai invasion? I'd like to hear one of these stories. Sounds like you could use a hand. What are you doing? Mongols torched my home. Either I build a new house, or I sleep in the grass. You don't have any help? Any family? I don't have anyone. Lost my parents some 15 years ago. Always had to rely on myself. And now I have to do it with nothing to my name. Ah, don't look at me like that. Everyone has a story. Mine is I don't think I have enough wood. I might be able to help with that. Are you sure? Never mind. I'll take it. I'm building a house. Let's hope the Mongols don't burn this one down too. I may be able to help with that as well. I look forward to seeing your handiwork. Oh, I'm not building it here. Still gathering supplies. But thank you. I'll take this back to the site. Can't believe I'm doing this. Jin from Yarikawa. Didn't think you'd make it. What happened here? Friends of mine lived on this farm. I hoped they'd join our fight. But those Mongol bastards got to them first. The least they deserve is a proper burial. Won't be long. <laughs> 
I'll help you. You don't have to do that. I know. I want to. Hm. Grab the spade. May they find peace in the next life. I didn't take you for a religious man. I'm full of surprises. You said you would think about bringing me to your crew. Have you made up your mind? That depends. Is the eagle's poison still affecting you? Yes, but it hasn't slowed me down. Take me to meet your raider friends, and I'll prove I can help you fight back. <sighs> All right, samurai. You've got a ride ahead of us. Try and keep up. Where are you taking me? An old raider stronghold. We used it to hide from the samurai. Now it's keeping us safe from the Mongols. You're not worried about taking a samurai to your secret hideaway? Of course I am. But we need every fighting arm we can get. Just watch yourself once we get there. Ever since the Sakai invasion, samurai are slightly less popular than a pit of venomous snakes. The Sakai invasion? The butcher of Iki and his gang thought they could bring a little law and order to our island. <laughs> Show them, not before losing a lot of good people. From what I heard, neither side was innocent. There's some truth to that. I've never seen a pretty war. There's a hidden entrance to the stronghold up ahead. Mongols, I found the entrance. Let's see how good you are with that blade, Samurai. Challenge me! We're not getting in this way. That's Fune's doing. Any outsiders find our home, we block the entrance and kill the witnesses. No exceptions. I hope she's more welcoming to invited guests. We'll find out soon enough. Is there another way in? Only by sea. There was a path years ago, before my time. Don't know if it's still there. It's worth a shot. Samurai has this man murdered. Remember your father's attendant? His throat was opened while he slept. His blood sprayed your tent. Silence! Jin, you alright? Yes. Sometimes I hear the eagle's voice. Like she can read your mind or something? No. I hear my own thoughts. Things I didn't know I was thinking. But in her voice... I hope it wears off. Oh. 
I see why the samurai never found this hideaway of yours. It's the only stronghold on Iki that survived the Sakai invasion. Let's hope that holds for the Mongols. No way to cross. There's always a way. Samurai have to say shit like that. Do pirates have to mouth off? Just the clever ones. <laughs> Neat trick. I could use one of those. It was a gift. From a brilliant friend. He passed. Sorry to hear that. Minor setback. Look for a way around. You're welcome to join me. You all right? I'm fine. You're doing great. Don't die. Not bad. Bastards. They're after one of our ships. Friends of yours? Would you call them friends? Yes, I knew them. That makes four craft we've lost to the Eagle's warship. I'll get us through here. How did you join up with Fune? We enjoyed the hospitality of the Sakai Inn together. You mean Fort Sakai? Terrible food. But we left with our heads intact. Most of the guests weren't so lucky. Almost there. He is luring you into a den of murderers. They will kill you just as they killed your father. <sighs> when we step through that gate, there's no turning back. Everything you do is on my head. Don't make me regret this, Samurai. You don't have to worry about me, Tenzo. I promise. Good. Keep that attitude and you'll be fine. Just stay close, keep your sword sheathed, and let me do the talking. Here we go. Tenzo? You're back. You brought a samurai here? Wait until Hune hears about this. I'll tell her myself. Get back to your posts. I'm watching you, samurai. Let's get you to Fune. Impress her, and the wolves will back off. And if I don't impress her? I've seen her tie men up and leave them to drown at high tide. 
Even hung one traitor from the mast of her ship for the gods to eat. But I don't know what she'll do to a samurai. Those people, more victims of the eagle's poison. Not as lucky as you. Tenzo, you're running out of clean rags. Check the drawers. I have a shirt you can strip down. Let's go, Jin. Fune's waiting. Was that your house? They needed more than me. There's Fune, watching us from her favorite perch. Tenzo, get your ass up here. Coming, Fune. Remember, make nice and stow the samurai attitude. Welcome back, Tenzo. I can explain. I hope so, because right now I'm really curious why you brought a samurai into my home. You sent me to find people who can fight. Fight for us, not against us. If I wanted to come for you, you would know it. Jin. It's all right, Tenzo. I want to hear this samurai dig his own grave. I'm here because the Mongols invaded my home, too. And if the Eagle isn't stopped on your shores, she's going to bring her army and her poison to Tsushima. We can defeat the Eagle and save both our homes, but only if we work together. He's your catch, Tenzo. What's your take? Maybe he helps us. Or he's skewered on a Mongol spear. And you get to brag about one more samurai dying on Iki Island. Either way, we've got nothing to lose. You're in, Samurai. I hope you don't get seasick. When the next storm hits, we're taking every boat in this cove and attacking that Mongol warship. Sounds like a good way to lose half your men. Get me aboard that warship, and I can sink it. <laughs> Tenzo, get this fool out of my face. Jin may have a point. We can't get close enough to board the warship, but a Mongol boat from Iki resupplies them every few days. We can take their supply ship and make the delivery ourselves. Tenzo, if you think this can work, you're in charge. I need a dozen men. Jin can be one of them. They're yours. The supply ship docks on the northeast side of the island. Look for a small inlet, steep cliffs. I'll meet you there. Fune, it has been a pleasure. Just watch your step, Samurai.
Don't bother going to the camp at Nagata Lake. Raided by Mongols. Did any survive? They did. Our monk gave himself as ransom to save us. But without his skills, we're done anyway. If he's still alive, I can bring him back to help you. That will be worth it. much more to fear than the Mongols. Listen, and I will tell you. Have you seen him? The ghost of Iki? The ghost of what? The Samurai Phantom hunting bandits. Tall as a tree, eyes of fire. People camped by Kimono Trail saw him just last night. If he's that impressive, I'd like to meet him. He cut off their ears, their noses, then their lips. 
Such was the cruelty of Black Hand Riku. <sighs> Cursed bastard. is only as strong as the boyo who made it. my lord. Riku has a taste for warriors. What are you talking about? Black Hand Riku, the cursed pirate captain who terrorizes Iki Island from beyond the grave. Hmm. Black Hand Riku. Didn't he die at sea years ago? That he did. I am Kashira. I sailed on Riku's bloodstained banner. The things I saw still haunt my nightmares. Perhaps you can tell me the tale. Of course. I hope you have a strong stomach. Black Hand Riku was once the cruelest pirate captain to ever terrorize Iki Island. He carved up his victims piece by piece, always saving a morsel for his loyal companion, a vicious monk. Riku built his armor to honor a brutal Sarugami. This monkey demon inhabited his armor. Its cursed whispers drove Riku to take risks, tempting him with the spoils of battle, while pushing him to the brink of ruin. Six years ago, Black Hand Riku attacked a refugee ship. Its cargo? Children. He threw the young ones overboard. Their samurai protector, he skinned alive. His crew watched in horror while Riku's monkey fed on the trimmings. Then, mutiny. Black Hand Riku's crew plotted to poison their wretched leader. He was stabbed through the chest and blinded by the poison. But he clung to life protected by the arm of the Sarugami. Riku set his ship ablaze and fled with his monkey, while his crew burned to death in their fiery tomb. Before he died, Riku hid his Sarugami armor somewhere on Iki Island. Now he haunts the coast. A wrathful spirit who preys on anyone brave or foolish enough to seek the cursed armor of Black Hand Riku. So you sailed with Black Hand Riku? and plotted his death. Someone had to stop him. And no one has found his Sarugami armor? Many have tried, but they all fell victim to his wrathful spirit. People say the monkeys of Iki are his eyes and ears. If that's the case, he already knows I'm interested. Where did your ship go down? I don't remember much of that night. 
But one other crew member survived. Minato. She spends her time hiking Mount Take no Tsuchi, trying to forget the horrors we lived through. Thank you for the tale. Be careful. The monkeys are watching. Black Hand Riku sees everything. The Khan put a bounty on the coast. Anyone can claim it. Do you saw?
soon. Forget about me. Please, go to the north of the island and look for the cliff with the seagulls. Why would you send me there? I have seen men leap to their death. They say the eagle tribe makes you choose, join or jump. And now they have my son. Say no more. I'll make sure no one has to make that choice again. 